Alright, so as we get into this Chromebook, let's get to the, or matter of fact, let's take a look at the box. So you can see the box in the front, full 1080, full 1080p, uh, tuned by Skull Candy. So what they're basically saying, listen, we're going to have some good sound on this Chromebook. So there we go, it's a silver, um, might be aluminum, might be plastic, but very, very, you know, simple boxing so far okay so there we go so usual books pamphlets and so forth but we'll keep this to the side just in case and we have our court this is a Toshiba brick if you have a Toshiba Chromebook already I mean or Toshiba laptop I should say you know pretty much how it is and this is the brick so there you go so we'll see how that, how it charges up hopefully we can do this unboxing straight without having to charge so you have here probably this is from probably from skull candy right, bottom stuff. feels pretty feels pr very nice so far feels very nice Okay, I see how they had it. Wow. This Chromebook is not what I thought. This, I thought this was going to be smooth, but it's it's a texturized Chromebook. Yeah, this Chromebook got some texture to it. At the top, you could just hear it. It got a lot of texture on it. Um, definitely not a Chromebook that you're going to drop. At the bottom, got the same type of texture. But it's more of a, a plastic feel. Not even a rubberized plastic. Just a rubber uh, plastic type of feel. At the top feels... I wouldn't say it feels premium. But it doesn't feel cheap. You got your Chrome logo there. You got your Toshiba Chrome uh, Toshiba logo, logo there. Not bad. You have your um, 3.5 millimeter jack. USB 3 port. HDMI port. I uh, believe that's a lock port. Nothing in the back. And then this is where you charge it up. This is a US, regular USB port and a full SD slot. So it's decked out. It got its usual ports. And here it is. So is it going to power up? No. Normally when Chromebooks come out the box, you got to plug it in first. No, nah, we're going to have to plug it in. But taking a look at the body, it looks pretty good. Um, You can see it has not a big bezel, but limited bezel. Not a bad looking Chromebook at all. It really doesn't look bad. Um, feels metal, metal. It feels like a glass trackpad. But I like it. I like it. It got a little heft to it. Not too heavy. Not too light. It's a nice looking Chromebook. So I got to power this thing up. But just to give you guys a good look at it. It's not bad looking at all. Alright, so we did the initial plug in. Now we're ready to get this started. So you guys know Chromebooks ab absolutely boot up. As soon as you open up the laptop, you're ready to go. And here we go. So... This is the initial screen. Now, what I noticed with 1080p Chromebooks is that you have to um, you have to set the fonts because it comes out pretty small at first. So we're gonna go into our network. As soon as we find it, all right, we're gonna get into our network and we can continue. So. Getting into a Chromebook is real simple. Now, as we go in, let me just tell you guys. So this is the full 1080p Chromebook, 13, 13.3 Toshiba Chromebook. You can get your 100 gigabytes of Google Drive. It's an Intel Celeron with four gigs of RAM. Now, Intel Celerons run real good on Chromebooks. Now, a lot of us who's had Chromebooks already we want four gigs of RAM, which this one has four gigs of RAM. But now we're getting a little greedy. We want i3s and i5s. 
and so forth. We want to have a lot of speed because a lot of us is tinkering and doing some extra stuff. All right. So are we pretty much? Yeah. All right. Our apps are going in, and for right now, I gotta ch change the screen. The screen is not working for me. The screen saver. So we're gonna get right into the screen screen saver, and you have uh pretty much a real clean silver or grayish or aluminumish type of Chromebook. It really looks good. Now, the little bit of, about the keys and the trackpad. Trackpad already feels pretty good. The keyboard feels a little mushy. It feels a little mushy, but this is my a little first impression. But first impression, this is a Chromebook, which is perfect. That's going to be for a kid because they're not going to immediately drop it. It has grip on it. So what I can say already is that I'm feeling the screen. So far, the screen looks pretty good. Let me get the full brightness. So far, the screen is on point. This is definitely a nice 1080p screen. Uh, this, this don't look like a matte screen. This looks a little bit more premium. Um, I'm comparing it to the Samsung Chromebook 2 13.3. That was more of a matte 1080p, which wasn't really good. This, this right here is a nice looking screen, I must say. So, um, Toshiba, you did a good job. I'm all in. I'm all in. Let me um boost this up, give you guys an idea. Now, it's not touch screen or anything like that. So, you know, it's not a touch screen. Um, I'm gonna have to see if it's a light up keyboard. It, so far, I don't think it's a it's it's not a light up keyboard. I thought it might be, because when I ordered it, I was pretty much looking at price for the person I was ordering it for. But um, not bad at all. It looks it looks good. It looks on point. Nothing to be uh, go crazy about. But is it worth the price that I got it for? 200 and I believe $269? Yeah. I would definitely say this is worth that price. Definitely. Intel sell around 4 gigs of RAM. Um, Pretty, pretty much premium build, not too heavy, not too light. Um, I'll give you guys all the numbers when I do the complete review. But four feet at the bottom, rubberized feet. It feels good, definitely. It got all the screws. Look like you can go in and tinker with it. Maybe, add, maybe put more RAM in it. Um, if I would get for myself, I would probably get the i3 with 4 gigs of RAM. I would probably be happy with that. And um, let's take a look at a 4K video just, just to tinker and see how, how would it uh, look for one second. And then I'm going to end this video. But for now, I got to say, not bad. Toshiba, definitely got to look into this Chromebook for myself as a backup because I'm looking for something, something not too far behind from the Pixel. All right, let's let's get this to 4K and take a look. Move this up a little bit. All right, so we got some 4K video here playing. Screen at full brightness. I honestly say, yeah, we we got it on 1440p to be exact. It looks good. So this is definitely a not a bad looking Chromebook. This is the Toshiba 13.3 inch Chromebook with four gigs of RAM. Not bad at all. I definitely definitely looking forward to uh, matching this up against other Chromebooks. So with that, guys, this is it for that. See you guys in the Gotta next Got to pause. I cut my finger with this damn knife. Give me a second.